In this video, I'm gonna show you four tools to make your own beats without needing to know any music theory. If you're a singer, songwriter, rapper, vocalist, or anything of the sort, and you're getting sick of relying on producers, buying beats on the internet, and all that jazz, and you wanna actually start producing your own music, all of the limiting beliefs and all the bullshit ends today. By the end of the video, I guarantee that you're gonna have all the clarity you need and all the tools to actually go out and start making your own beats and instrumentals right now. Let's dive into the computer and let's go in live and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make your own beats without needing to know music theory. I'm gonna go through each one of the tools one by one and then we're gonna make a beat. So the first one is called Splice. There's a website as well. And basically what you can do with this website, it's super sick if you haven't seen it, we'll go to sounds. And uh, it's kind of an algorithm, kind of like how YouTube, Instagram and all that is where you start looking for stuff and then it'll start auto populating stuff for you. And you can literally pick any of these sounds and use them in your beats. So the first one that caught my eye was hashtag pain rap pianos. That's definitely up Leezy the Gifted's alley. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and play one and uh, see what I got. That's cool. Looks like I've downloaded that already. Some of these are cool, but let me let me get to another part of this where it'll literally show you the key in BPM so you can start matching up sounds. There we go. I fuck with that. So a couple of things you can do. Number one, I'm just gonna drag it right into my DAW, which is logic. Uh D sharp minor ninety-two. So I'm literally gonna click here, change the key and BPM really quick. Well, I'm not gonna make the full beat yet. I just wanna play you guys stuff and then we'll we'll get to it. So there's that, first of all. That's the first thing you can do. Next, something really cool with Splice is there's this thing here, show similar sounds, and it'll show you similar stuff. Or what you can do is create a stack. This shit is fucking crazy. Watch this. Create a stack and it's it's playing it. It's literally playing a whole beat for you. And you can hit solo. That's what we just found. Right? crazy i can even do a bass if i want so first thing i fuck with that so much so i'm gonna hit save uh i'm gonna hit save and i'm just gonna call it um uh, emotional piano g sharp minor export uh if you were in ableton or studio one you could do it like there i'm just gonna go stems and then it'll, you know, cause all your credits or it'll uh, use up your credits and literally open it up. And literally you can drag all of those right into your beat. And I'm just going to create new tracks. Uh, this is the original one. So I'm just going to delete it. And then there it is. There's all of those. So first of all, you definitely don't need music theory. I just proved that. That's 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 one that's one way you can do it. So splice is cool. I could dive into a whole splice thing here. The other thing is D sharp minor. Like I can just add guitar if I want keys. There's so many. So that's the first thing is uh, splice. That's the first tool. Second tool is called arcade. And uh, I'll pull that up for you and show you a quick demo of that. So arcade is really cool because they have their own packs as well. I'm just going to click lines and show you a few things. Uh, we'll go to studio. I mean... Yeah, we'll go to we'll go to Honey. Honey is really cool. So here I can set my key. Or I can set my key, and we'll do it. We'll keep it D sharp minor, just because that's what we uh, D. Oh wow! See, so it's got a bunch of them. Hmm. Well, the original one was D sharp minor. So uh, D sharp minor is also E flat minor. Same thing. So. I can find and play packs. And by the way, it'll match with the BPM of your song. So if we're doing 92, like let's just say we're doing that. 
it matches. That's cool. Sick. If we're playing something like that. That's sick. That's sick as fuck. So I click it. I'm going to hit Command K on my keyboard just to pull this up. So I'm literally using my keyboard on my computer. Now I can hit it one at a time like boom, boom, boom. Or I can just hold the letter A. And it's playing a pattern. These are like, right? Different drums. Old bass. Melodies. See, I'm hitting the letter L. And then I can drag this over and... Like that. I can fuck around with these. So, it, so I could play something there and I can literally just hit the letter R on my keyboard to record and I can just like hold J down. Watch. And I'm going to hold J down. Just keep holding it. Just keep holding it. Sick. I'm going to hit the letter Q to quantitize it. I'm going to hit Command D so I can duplicate the track and have that same pack. I'm going to hold K as well. So now it's playing those keys that complement perfectly with what I just played. It's fucking sick. Letter Q to quantize. Right? I hit Command D. Let's do that next. I love that. Oh, little emotional beat. I'm realizing it was G sharp minor. <laughs> I like how these sound, but I just realized those samples from earlier were G sharp minor. So let's just change it. G sharp minor. <laughs> it's that easy. G sharp minor. G sharp minor. So now I'm just going to play. Yep. And let's say I want to play... Uh, let's play that next. One last thing. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, that's adding the vibe to it. Just keep holding it for the whole way. Sick. Q. And hit unto.
might label it. So synth. I'll call it guitar two because I think guitar one. Keys. Oops. Yeah. Sweet. So <laughs> there's another way you can use. Now we've got two sets of melodies. Um, really, really cool. There's a lot more to do with Arcade, but that's just kind of a good basic way to get started with it. The other tool that I'm going to show you is, let me just check my notes real quick. Unison MIDI Wizard. Okay, so let me show you this next tool. So what you're going to do is bring up some kind of like a, a virtual instrument. Okay, I'm going to pull up a free one called Alchemy. And now Alchemy is completely free. That comes on Logic Pro X. Uh, if you have a different DAW, it doesn't matter. But if you're on Logic, you can use this. Uh, I'll go to pads. Um, let me just pull up K and just test some of these out. You can move the shit around it. Just trying to find some. There we go. I like that. All right. So Unison MIDI Chord, uh, Unison MIDI Wizard. They have two versions. They have the Unison MIDI Wizard 2.0 and 1.0. I have to be honest with you. I do not fuck with 2.0. I've used it and I'm like, nah, this shit is weak. But I fuck with Unison MIDI Wizard 1.0 very much so. Again, we'll just stand the same thing. G sharp minor, which is, oh, there it is. G sharp minor or B major. I'll, uh, you could pick different like styles. Oh, they've looks like they've added some. Let's go with future bass and melodic trap. We'll go with chords and uh, length. I'll do eight bars. I'm just going to literally hit the zapper here. Boom. And then let's hear what he's, what he did. Now, if that's a little too deep for you, you can hit transpose up and click it again and try something else. Fuck with it. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You can change shit. I like that. Ooh, I don't like all that. Uh, let me just try something else. Yes, this is what I want. Yep. Damn, that's great. I don't even need to hear that. So drag it right in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Sick, huh? And I could even, if I wanted to, change the instrument. Same exact things. But I liked Alpha Pad, so keep it right there. I'm going to hit Command D. And I can even use the Unison MIDI... Oh, and you know what I need to do, by the way? For this, I'm going to turn this off for now. So I only hear what's actually playing. So I'm going to go back to the second track. I can pull up keys. Uh, Where the fuck? Yeah, I'm just going to go keys. Oh. Just to hear the sounds. Chill wave. I like that. And see. If... You can just fuck around with this. All right, cool. I'll go with chill keys and give a fuck. So now, turn on Unison MIDI Wizard. And now, same exact settings as before, future bass, but I can go melody. And now it's going to play me a melody. When I hit the space bar, when I hit play, it's just going to play that. But when I hit the space bar, it'll play it with these chords. And it's a little too much for me, so I'm just going to go hit it again.
one more time. Yeah, one more time. And if you liked the stuff he had from before, which I did, I liked it. Drag it in there. I just hit those little arrows. Boom. So now... You can even play with these keys from Arcade. All types of crazy stuff, huh? So that's Unison MIDI Wizard. And what was the last thing I got on the list? Cthulhu. Okay. Next one I'm going to do is called Cthulhu. So I'm going to pull up... Um, what's it called? I'm going to pull up this again. <laughs> I forgot the name. Alchemy. <laughs> I'm going to pull it up, and I'll, I'll just fuck around with strings. I actually kind of fuck with those. All right, so Cthulhu is really sick. So I'm going to get rid of this part. I'm just going to hit this. So it's just going to be chords. So right now, like, let's say I hit this letter G. Oh, see, it's already doing it. Right there, it's just one note. But when I turn on Cthulhu, I can hit here. Uh, I can go to Icon, Diatonic, and I can click whatever key, which we're in, what, G-sharp minor? So now every time I hit one note, watch what happens here. Pulls up, it plays you a whole chord, but everything I play will be in G-sharp minor. It's fucking crazy, so... Trying to find some shit. Here we go. That's hard as fuck. That's insane right there. I hit Q just so you know to quantitize it. And I can hit the scissors if I want to edit it. Which like... Kind of started early. I'm just kind of fucking around. I want that to hit exactly. Just gotta edit it sometimes, no big deal. It's crazy. I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to drag this over, hold option, and then just add it. So it's insane, right? Like, all these melodies that I just made, like, fuck, dude, it's fucking, I forgot. Like, here's the splice stuff we've got. Right? Here's the arcade stuff. Completely different. Completely different. Q. 
Here's the unison MIDI chord, uh, unison MIDI wizard. And then here's Cthulhu. Right now, that's my favorite thing right there. So I'm going to go ahead and mess around with those with some stuff from Splice, throw in some drums, call it a day. I'm going to EQ the string. So this isn't really like a mixing vid. Oh, and you know what? Yeah, I'm going to pull up an EQ here for these strings. I'm going to take out the high end. God, dude, this is insane. And then I'm going to solo it with these. This is one of my... I love this part. Very Drake-ish. This is different. Get that shit out of here. I don't fuck with that. Those go really well. Let's EQ it. this thing here there's a bass in there that's a little much let's just hear these EQ this. I don't want this in it. We've got this here. I think these, th for now, I'll just do these. Uh, I'm going to put these little ones away. So I'm hitting command and then clicking. I'm going to right click, cr uh, create track stack. This is a Logic Pro thing. And I'm just going to put extra melodies, like pretty cool, and just mute them. And I can use these for later down the road in the, in the song. And then I'm just going to start making some drums. Not really a drum tutorial here today. But uh, this is called Ultra Beat, and I get my drums from Splice as well, which are insane. But I'm just going to throw some drums on here super quick, so you can kind of see, like, kind of how we do what we do. But you can see, like, I don't need to know how to play music theory or any of that. So I come in. What if we did like some reggaeton drums or something? Wait, that was off. <laughs> oh shit.
That is weird as shit. I've never played drums like that. I don't even know if they're going to work. These are sick. Let me try this again. I, I like the groove I'm going with. I've never done drums like that. So unconventional. These are sick. Hard. I'm going to hit Command D. Pull up some hi-hats. I'm just going to manually play them. I usually don't manually, but this is going to be. Ah, one sec. Let me do that again. Those hi-hats might have sucked ass, but I don't care. Oh, these are sick. All right, those are lit. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to try and... Ah, it's hard as fuck. Q. I'm gonna drag it over, hit option. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and throw some hi hat rolls. I'm gonna hit this is called note repeat. I'll show you guys that. Here, preferences, no, I'm sorry, key commands, uh, edit in Logic Pro, obviously. You can go to note, repeat, click it, and then uh, learn by key position, and you can make your own keyboard shortcuts, but I'm just going to go in crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Only thing we're missing is an 808, which we're going to go grab here from Splice. 808. Key. G sharp minor. Right? Is that what we're in? G sharp minor. Key. G sharp minor. Uh, and we'll go with a BPM range of 90 to 95. Now you, is that in the same? Oh, it's per. Yo. 
Yep, that was cool. I'm gonna go one more. That one goes stupid. I'm gonna fuck with that one too. Let's hear how that one sounds. Now this one might be a little off on the timing. So you can just time stretch it, click it, option, and wait till the line changes like that and just lock it in place. Oh, that's better. I'm gonna EQ that 808. What more do you need to see? Like, you don't need to know music theory to make a beat. And like, I know you might be watching this, but like, bro, you cooked that shit up so quick. I literally showed you the tools, though. Splice, Arcade, Unison, Midi Wizard, Cthulhu. Get any of them. Get all of them. Get whatever the fuck you want to get. Bro, it's <laughs> like, if you're, a music, if you're a music artist, you write your own songs, record your own vo record. Oh, my God, bro. I'm so excited. I can't even fucking finish the video. You're a music artist. You've been making and writing songs for years. You're not able to put out high quantity of high quality songs because of this part, because you don't have the production down. Get the fuck out of your head. Stop sitting here thinking, I'm not a producer. I can't do it. I just fucking showed you how to do it. Like really, really, really wrap your head around what I just showed you and realize that you actually can fucking do it. You can become your own music producer. You literally can do it. The problem is you're going to leave this video and you're probably going to be like, damn, I'm going to just go watch some fucking more YouTube videos. No, bro. I tried that shit. I know I just made you a YouTube video. I tried that shit. It took me like four years to do it. All this stuff I learned, I had to learn on my own. If you're really serious about producing your own music, the best way to do it is click the video. I swear, I'm really real about this shit. Click below in the video in, de in the description where it shows you how to produce your own music in 90 days. I'm trying to save you the trouble. I'm not just trying to sell some shit. I'm really trying to just save you the trouble that I had to go through. Click the video in the description. Go learn how to produce your own songs in 90 days. I'll talk to you on the next one.